Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to today's episode of Championship Fitness. I am with my good friend, Mr. James Wong, Certified Fitness Trainer. We are going to do a workout where it is motion exercises and body weight exercises that you can do any place. You can do it in your basement, you can do it in your rec room, you can do it on the road if you travel in your motel room, in your hotel room. You can do this outside. Right now, as you can see, we are in my treatment room in my office and the reason we're doing this is because for two reasons first of all it's very windy outside it would be <laughs> difficult to breathe out there you would hear the wind and wouldn't be able to hear me talking and then secondly because we want to demonstrate this workout that can be done inside or any place that you prefer to do it i'm going to let james go ahead and take over in just a minute but what i want to say is the objective of championship fitness is for me to demonstrate types of exercises so you can find an exercise that you enjoy and you can do it correctly and you can do it consistently. Now I'm gonna give the disclaimers. I have to give disclaimers. If you are not exercising right now, please see a medical professional before you start exercising to make sure that you are healthy enough to exercise. Please start at the current fitness level that you are at right now not at the fitness level that you were at before you stopped exercising or at the current fitness level that a friend or family member is at. Please start at your current fitness level. Also, increase the intensity in gradual increments. Do not do too much too soon and do not increase the intensity too much too soon. Also, please get adequate rest between training sessions. All right, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I'm going to let James go ahead and take over. Thanks, Dr. Zell. You're welcome, sir. Hi, everybody. James from the Reset Project here. So this workout is designed for people on the go, um, people who are traveling. It only takes 10 minutes to do it once you have the routine down. You're going to hit everything, strength, mobility, core. What's more important is it's adjustable for people of any level, any fitness level. So all the movements we're gonna be doing here, we can make them more advanced or we can ease them down so they're easier on joints, knees, back, things like that. So I'm gonna walk Doc Gozello through the program. We're gonna go nice and slow. Might take us a little longer than 10 minutes, but once you have it down, I guarantee you, seven to 10 minutes and you're done. All right, so we're gonna ask Doc Ozello to go into a staggered stance, left leg forward, right leg back. You want your legs hip width apart. You want your right heel down on the ground. Right arm comes up. You take in a deep breath and with a big exhale, you arch from your hips back to stretch through the right hip flexor. With a big inhale, you relax and with a big exhale, Actually, arm stays up. Okay. And with a big exhale, you lean to your left. Big stretch down the right side. Big inhale, come forward with hands together. And then with a big exhale, rotation. All right. We're going to do it one more time. So big inhale, arch for the hip flexor. And now we're going to put in a toe pull. So we're now we're going to pull on the ankle. So Dr. Ozello is going to take his right leg slightly behind him. You're right on the top of the toe and we're looking to stretch up the ankle. Right arm comes up. And with a big exhale, you lean to your left, stretching through here, applying pressure to stretch through the top of the foot. Inhale, hands come down right in front of you. Go back into your staggered stance. Perfect, big exhale, rotate. All right, you should be doing three on each side. We're gonna do 10 squats. You have your choice. Doc Ozello's doing this wide stance sumo squat to work the inside of the thighs. You can get the legs closer together to work the front. You can have feet together with arms up to work your lower back and your legs. What number we got there? Uh, here's five, I think. Perfect. I was listening to Six. you, I wasn't counting. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Turn the feet forward, hands on the hips. Good. 
big inhale, push your hips forward, driving the weight into your heels. So again, we're pulling up through the front. And then with a big exhale, you push the hips out and you reach for your toes. Nice, easy hamstring stretch here. We're gonna do it two more times so you can start to increase the stretch. Big inhale, maybe you pull a little bit farther on the front, working through the front of the hip flexor. And then with a big exhale, maybe you reach a little farther down, maybe this time you even touch your toes. And one more time. This breathing is really important, this big inhale with the movement, and then the big exhale for the toe reach. And now we're gonna go into a little wider stance. And what we're gonna do are alternating side to side inside leg stretch. So as you reach down, this foot stays flat. And if you guys are watching, Doc Ozello is doing this perfectly. He's moving from his hips and not his shoulders and he's letting his hips shift his body weight to stretch the inside of the thigh. Yeah, it's an awesome movement for the inner part of the hamstrings and for the medial thigh muscles. Let's do uh, one more on each side. Okay. And then we're gonna turn sideways again, facing the front of your mat. For all you amateur yoga, yogis out there, these are called sun salutes. They're really easy to do. It's a big inhale, arms go up. Big exhale, reach for your toes, and then walk your hands out and walk them back. So big inhale, raising the arms up, opening up the lungs. Big exhale, reach for the toes. Hands go onto the mat. You can bend your knees here, walk your hands out. And then you walk your hands right back. Flexibility, flexibility, movement, and strength all at the same time. We're gonna do two more, so here's one. Am I leaning back or am I just reaching towards the just sky? Just reaching towards the sky. If the back feels flexible enough, yes, you certainly can okay. reach back. Okay, now it feels good just to reach towards the sky. Is that why it's called the sun salute? Yes, you are saluting the sun. Great to do outside in the morning. These are I do these as soon as I wake up. Last one, big inhale. And again, if you want to take that big arch in the back, you can. Reaching for the toes, walking it out. And this time when you walk it out, you're going to stay there. And we're going to do five tricep push-ups, which means that your thumbs come together about six inches apart. Your elbows are going to rub against your rib cage as you go down to do the push-up. So let's just do five of them. Elbows in tight, we're working through the tricep. Too hard to do it full push-up, you can always go onto your knees to do it modified. And then right after you do the five, you're going right into a, uh, on your hands and knees, and into child's pose. And child's pose, yep, there you go. So here's what we're trying to stretch here with child's pose. Hips are pushing down onto the heels, stretching your lower back, and at the same time, hands and fingers are reaching for the top of your mat, stretching through your side. So we have a push-pull. We got the pulling of the hands, the pushing of the hips to create the stretch. And what we're gonna ask Doc Ozello to do is take in a deep breath, and with a big exhale, come forward and drop belly and hips to the floor. Good, and then right back. We're just gonna do two more of these. And this is called the child's pose? This is called child's pose in yoga. And this is a resting awesome. pose. Great if you sit all day, this is the perfect pose. All right, big inhale, arch, belly and hips to the floor. He's gonna stretch through his lower back and get this nice big stretch. If this is too much on your lower back, you can be on your forearms and take some of that pressure off of the lower back. All right, we're going into a plank position. All right, we're gonna have Doc Ozello do 10 saws, but before he does them, I just want you to take a look at his alignment. This perfect alignment of shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, all in alignment. The hips are not up, nor is the back sagging. 
When you do a saw, you push your shoulders as far forward over your elbows as you can, keeping your hips nice and level, and then you push back. And let's do 10 of them. So go ahead and I gotta move forward my foot sliding off the mat. Perfect, perfect. So Good cue come all the way forward. There you go, hips are staying level, and then you push back. And do I go back as far as I can? Yep, there you go. And then big exhale, pushing forward. So the saw is an advanced plank. You're working your core, you're working your front. You're forcing your front, your abs, to support your back and your hips. We're gonna have Daco Zello do one more, and then he's gonna lay flat on the floor. Arms are gonna be out by your side, perfect. All right, this is called a cobra. And so what we've done now is we've worked the front of your core, we've worked your chest, we've worked the abs, and now we're gonna give the back a nice stretch, especially the lower back. So we're gonna ask Dr. Zello to bring his hands in by his hips. Good, and lay them on the floor. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna show you how to do this in a couple different ways. This is the easiest way to do a cobra is Daco Zello is going to lift his chest off of the ground. Want to try a little harder? Then you lift your thighs off of the ground. Perfect. And relax. And now we're going to show you one more way to do this. That's even, uh, this is the most advanced way to do it. So now we're going to ask you to take your hands back out towards your thigh, point your thumbs up into the air. All right, so the first thing you want to do is retract your shoulder blades, make them pinch together, and then raise your chest up off of the ground as you retract, and then lift thighs off. Perfect, stretching that and strengthening that lower back. Three, two, one, relax. Go back into child's pose. And so now we're just going to let his back relax. How'd that feel on your lower back? Oh, that felt great. That was a good muscle contraction all the spiny rectum muscles in that low back that extend the spine, really got a good, good feeling on that exercise. Perfect. So you go into child's pose, you can rest as long as you need to to get your back together. But now we're gonna ask Dr. Zello to go up into a down dog, which is counterintuitive because you lift your hips up into the air. You try to push your heels to the ground and then actually we're gonna ask you to move forward a little bit. We're gonna we need a little bit more room for this one. All right, so now this is kind of a hard movement. He's gonna go into a one leg down dog, lifting up his right leg. Oh, almost did the wrong leg. <laughs> and pushing his left heel to the ground to stretch through the left hamstring. And now we're gonna ask Doc Ozello to walk his hands back and go into a lunge position with the right leg in back of him. and five lunges. Back leg does all the work. And the legs are always at 90-90. This knee isn't doing any work at all. As soon as you do your five lunges, go right back into feet together, okay. reach for the toes, walk the hands out into a down dog. Good. There you go, then hips up into the air, push. And now we're going left leg up in the air and walking the hands back into a lunge position. So as you can see, if you have about six, seven feet of room right here, you got more than enough room. And we're gonna go into five perfect lunges, 90 degrees, back leg doing all the work. Yep, the front knee should never go over the foot. I'm gonna make sure that this knee does not come forward like this. The lunge, the body is going straight down. Perfect. As soon as you do five, mm -hmm. bring your feet together. Okay. Reach for your toes. Walk your hands out into a down dog. So now we're gonna look to get a good stretch on the hamstring. So hips up in the air, perfect. It's trying to push the heels to the floor and as you're pushing the heels to the floor, and stretching through your Achilles and your calf and your hamstring, you're gonna slowly rotate on the balls of your feet, shifting your heels left to right. Good, and then pivot on the balls of your feet. There you go, turn the heels out to the left. Oh, okay. Perfect. 
There you go. And you can feel that stretch change on the inside of your calf, turning it to the right. Perfect. Thing's going to come forward, and we're going to do eight push-ups, any way you want to do them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. And now we're going to go into pigeon pose, which is going to help stretch the hip. So we're going to go up into this push-up position. Fold the right leg underneath you. Your right heel is directly underneath your left hip. Your right knee is right next to your right wrist. Perfect. Slide the knee right over here. Perfect, perfect. Now, you got a flexible hip, you can start to lay down. For some of you, this stretch may be enough right here. But if you can, you start to extend the arms forward, laying the chest on the ground and pulling and stretching the hip. You can stay here for about 10 seconds just to let the hip stretch. If you shift your hips slowly left to right, you can feel the stretch change just a little bit. And we're gonna have Doc Ozello come up, switch positions. Perfect. Again, if that stretches enough with the arms up, stay there. If you can stretch it a little bit more, you start to lay the chest on the ground. Yeah, this is an excellent stretch for right back here on these gluteal muscles. I can feel it in the piriformis muscle. It's very important to keep this muscle uh, flexible, reduce the muscle tension with the stretching. This is a very good stretch. Remember to always hold a mild, comfortable stretch. Coming up into a push-up position. We're going to do a plank rotation. And we're going to do three on each side. So, Akozello turns. Sorry, I got my Perfect. back to the camera. <laughs> I made him do that. Perfect. We got core work, balance, strength all going together here. Perfect. And then three on the other side. And right into 10 more saws. So you go into your plank position. You have that nice flat back, the even shoulders and hips. Doc Ozello with each exhale pushes the hips forward, shoulders and hips forward. Hips stay nice and level. They don't pop up, nor do they drop down and sag on your back. As he's doing these, if you're feeling pain right here in your lower back, you're starting to feel strain, it means that your alignment is off. Hips probably have to come up a little bit. If you aren't feeling anything here in your lower abs, that means your hips are up too high. And right after you do those, you're gonna go right into child's pose. Two more reps. He's got that great breathing pattern going with the big exhale as he pushes forward and works the abdominal. Right into child's pose going to rest his abs, rest his lower back, and remember like we talked about in the beginning, you have this push-pull thing here, pushing down the hips onto the heels to stretch the lower back, pulling forward with the hands towards the top of the mat to stretch up through the sides. All right, we're just about done and we're going to cool down. So the last thing we're going to ask Doc Ozello to do is turn on his back and pull both knees into your chest. This is anti-gravity right here. We're taking all the gravity and weight off the bottom of your spine and off of your hips. Just letting everything relax. You wanna find a nice, easy breathing pattern. You may be breathing hard right here, so try to find a nice pattern where you can get into a nice, steady breathing pattern. And then feet go on the floor. Soles of the feet go together and you butterfly the knees open. We're gonna stretch the inside of the hip and you're done. That was it. Once you, once you have the routine down and you're able to go through it, seven to 10 minutes easily. If you need any adjustments, you wanna make it harder, you wanna make it easier, 
Just email Doc Ozello and we'll send you a bunch of information. Thanks, Doc. How'd it feel? You're welcome. Feels good. I had a good workout. Uh, like James was saying, if you need to modify any of the exercises to work at your current fitness level, or if you have an injury or an old injury, you need to modify it, go ahead and do that. You could leave feedback, questions, or suggestions in the comments section below. If you have questions on how to modify one of the exercises, just please leave that below and I will get it to James. If I cannot answer it, I will especially get it to James and let him, let him answer it so that you get the information that you desire. Thank you for viewing today's video, today's episode of Championship Fitness. Again, this is a workout that you could do any place. Body weight exercises, motion exercises, good core motion, good posture exercises. We did lunges, we did squats, a lot of core work, a lot of yoga motions, a lot of stretching. It was fantastic. An entire body workout in just a short period of time doing body weight exercises and motion exercises. Please feel free to like this video. Please, again, if you have questions, leave them in the comments section. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. Ozello. DC. Always, always remember, find an exercise that you enjoy. Do it correctly. Do it consistently. Give adequate rest between training sessions. Make the healthiest nutritional choices that you possibly can, and you will live a healthier, fitter, more functional life. James, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Excellent workout, sir. Thanks, Doc Ozello. Thanks, Championship Chiropractic.